When it comes to bits designed for drilling wood, there's a huge difference in cost. The least expensive brand we'll be testing is under $2, and the most expensive, over $30. So the question is, is that $30 bit really that much better than the $2 bit? Let's find out. We'll see which brand drills through 2 by 4 is the fastest. Then we'll see which bit is the fastest drilling through oak. We'll see which drill bits are the fastest after drilling 100 holes. Then we'll inspect the damage and see how fast the drill bits are after hitting a nail. At a price of $10.79 for 6 bits, or $1.80 each, is this Comaware brand. Carbon steel construction with titanium coating for capability and durability. The flat paddle design features a sharp cutting edge, ensures the hole is smooth and clean. The sharp bit allows for drilling in most types of wood, including soft metals such as aluminum. The Comaware brand is made in China. I'll be using a drill press to test the wood bits. To make sure all the bits have the same amount of downward force applied, I've attached a wheel to the lever arms of the drill press. I'll be attaching a rope as well as 7.5 pounds of weight to the wheel, which is 54 pounds of downward force on the drill bit. Since we're using 1 inch bits, I've set the RPM to 250. I've attached a torque adapter to the drill press so we can keep track of the peak torque during the testing. Let's see how long it takes for each brand to drill through a 2x4. The Cumbleware is very slow at 34.1 seconds on the first hole. The second hole took even longer at 41 seconds. The third hole took nearly the same amount of time as the first hole at 34.8 seconds. At a price of $11 for 6 bits or $1.83 each is this DeWalt brand. Extreme Speed Channel. Patented Extended Life Corner. Heavy Duty Shank. The DeWalt bits are made in China. And the DeWalt is off to a really fast start making quick work of the 2x4 in only 7.2 seconds. So DeWalt moves into the lead. The second hole took a little bit longer at 8.9 seconds but still pretty fast. The third hole was drilled slightly faster than the second one at 7.4 seconds for an average time of 7.8. Also costing $11 or $1.83 each is this Diablo brand. Fast and effortless drilling in clean wood. High performance and impact drivers. Optimized curved paddle design for more holes per charge. Speed tip for less effort and faster holes. The Diablo brand is made in China. The Diablo is off to a fast start but not quite as fast as the DeWalt at 7.6 seconds. Diablo is slightly slower drilling the second hole at 7.8 seconds. Diablo is slightly faster drilling the third hole at 7.5 seconds. So Diablo has the fastest average time at 7.6 seconds and takes the lead from DeWalt. Just like the DeWalt and the Diablo, the Bauer brand also cost $11. Fast start, fully threaded tip. Up to seven times faster drilling, we're going to test that. The grooved hex shank provides a firm, secure fit, and the impact resistance shaft reduces breakage and offers maximum durability. The Bauer brand is made in China. And the Bauer is pretty fast at 8 seconds on the first hole, but that's not quite as fast as the DeWalt or the Diablo. The Bauer drilled the second hole slightly faster than the first one at 7.9 seconds. The third hole took the same amount of time as the second at 7.9 seconds. So Diablo holds on to the lead with the fastest average time. At a price of $17 or $2.83 each is this Irwin brand. Patented blue groove parabolic scoop for faster chip removal. Two times longer life and cuts two times faster. We're going to test that. Chamfer cutting edges for increased durability. Double cutting spurs. Scribes outside the hole reducing breakout. The Irwin brand is made in China. The Irwin doesn't have the self-feeding center point like the Diablo and the Bauer, and it isn't nearly as fast on the first hole at 9.1 seconds. The Irwin was slightly slower on the second hole at 9.2 seconds. The Irwin was almost the second faster in the third hole at 8.3 with an average of 8.9 seconds. So Diablo holds on to the lead. At a price of $15 for 5 bits or $3 each is this Bosch brand. Full cone threaded tip, contoured paddles for speed. Bit provides 10 times the speed, we're going to test that. The Bosch has a threaded center point and is making faster progress than the Irwin, 7.7 seconds on the first hole. The Bosch was nearly as fast in the second hole at 7.9 seconds. 8 seconds on the third hole. So bits with a self-feed threaded center point seem to be a little bit faster and are providing more consistent times. At a price of $22 for 6 bits or $3.67 each is this Milwaukee brand. Precise cutting edge removes chips fast. Premium quality flat boring bits are made of heat treated high carbon steel. More clean fast holes at any angle in wood, plastic, plywood or formica. Double wing spurs. Form the hole reducing vibration and breakout. The Milwaukee brand is professionally made in China. Milwaukee isn't nearly as fast as some of the other brands on the first hole at 10.4 seconds. And Milwaukee was slightly faster in the second hole at 10.1 seconds. And the Milwaukee made his fastest time yet at 9.2 seconds on the third hole for an overall average of 9.9 seconds. At a price of $35 for 6 bits or $5.83 each is this Bosch brand. Unlike the other set of Bosch bits we'll be testing, this one is designed for cutting nails. Contoured paddle design increases speed with faster chip removal. Nail killing wood boring bit design. Fully threaded cone tip pulls bit through wood quickly and effortlessly. Reinforced reamer cutting edges. Made in China.
The Bosch nail strike drilled through the 2x4 in 9.5 seconds on the first hole. The Bosch is slightly slower on the second hole at 9.6 seconds. And the Bosch made his fastest pass yet at 9.4 seconds on the third pass. At a price of $39 for 6 bits or $6.50 each is this Hilti brand. Self-feeding screw point. Wing tips and cup spade increase speed and ease of drilling. The Hilti brand is made in China. The Hilti made pretty quick work of the 2x4 on the first pass at 8.1 seconds. The Hilti matches first hole time of 8.1 seconds on the second hole. The Hilti made his fastest hole yet at 8 seconds on a third pass, so Diablo holds on to the lead. At a price of $27 for 6 bits or $4.50 each is this Irwin brand. Max speed, fastest speed bore ever. Definitely not an apples to apples comparison, but it'll be very interesting to see how these auger bits perform. Three cutting spurs for faster cleaner holes, less breakout, and extended drill life. Short length is ideal for drilling in tight spaces. The Irwin brand is made in China. The Irwin auger bit made the fastest time yet at only 6.9 seconds on the first hole. The Irwin did even better on the second hole at 6.6 .6 seconds. It was slightly slower in the third pass at 6.8 seconds, but it takes the lead from Diablo. At a price of $39 or $13 each is this Bosch brand. Just like the Irwin brand, the Bosch brand is an auger bit. Delivers up to two times more holes per charge. Reinforced tips. Up to two times longer life than standard auger bits. The Bosch brand is made in China. The Bosch auger bit drilled through the 2x4 in 10 seconds on the first attempt. The Bosch was slightly faster on the second hole at 9.8 seconds. The Bosch was nearly the same on the third hole at 9.9 .9 seconds, so the Irwin auger bit holds on to the lead. At $220 for 7 bits or $31.43 each is this Lennox brand. Unlike the other brands, this is a self-feed bit. Up to two times the life. High-speed steel cutting edge. Definitely not an apples to apples comparison, but it'll be very interesting to see how these self-feed bits perform. The Linux self-feed made very quick work of the 2x4 at only 5.7 seconds on the first hole and takes the lead from the Irwin auger bit. The Linux is nearly as fast on the second hole at 6 seconds. With a 6.1 second time on the third hole, the Linux has the best average yet at only 5.9 seconds. So the Linux self-feed is the fastest at 5.9 and the Irwin auger 6.8 seconds. The Diablo is the fastest spade bit at 7.6 seconds, DeWalt 7.8, Bosch and Bauer 7.9. Drilling through softwood is one thing, but what about a much harder type of wood such as oak? Since most of the brands were very consistent with drilling through the 2x4s, I'll drill just one hole per brand beginning with the Comaware. Just like the first round of testing, the Comaware really struggled and needed 44 seconds to drill through the half inch oak. And the DeWalt made very quick work of the oak in only 5 seconds. DeWalt is on the left and the Comaware is on the right. Both brands did a fairly good job on the entrance. The Comaware experienced a little bit more tear out than the DeWalt on the exit. And Diablo is very fast at 5.2 seconds, but DeWalt holds on to the lead with a five second finish. Diablo's entrance wasn't quite as clean as DeWalt's, but the exit looks about the same. And the Bauer did fairly well at six seconds and moves into third place behind DeWalt and Diablo. The entrance looks similar to Diablo's, but the exit looks a little bit cleaner. And the Irwin made pretty quick work at 6.1 seconds, but DeWalt holds on to the lead. The Irwin made a fairly clean entrance, but there was quite a bit of tear out on the exit. And the Bosch made very quick work of drilling through the oak in 5.7 seconds and moves into third place. The Bosch made a fairly clean entrance and definitely a cleaner exit than the Irwin. And the Milwaukee drilled through the oak in 5.8 seconds and moves into fourth place. Both the entrance as well as the exit were fairly clean for the Milwaukee. The Bosch nail strike needed 6.9 seconds to drill through the oak, so DeWalt is still in the lead. The Bosch nail strike is definitely a rough cut bit and it made a pretty rough entrance. And the Hilti needed 5.6 seconds to drill through the oak. The Hilti made a fairly clean entrance and the exit was slightly better than the Bosch nail strike. And the Irwin auger bit is quite a bit slower than the competition at 15.1 seconds. The Irwin made a fairly clean entrance and exit. The Bosch auger bit did well at 6.6 .6 seconds, but the DeWalt holds on to the lead. The finish left by the Bosch auger wasn't quite as clean of an entrance and exit as some of the other brands. And the Linux bit did very well at 5.3 seconds and moves into third place behind DeWalt and Diablo. The Linux made a fairly clean entrance, but the exit looks pretty rough. So for drilling through the oak, the DeWalt came out on top at 5 seconds, Diablo 5.2, Linux 5.3, Hilti 5.6, Bosch Spade Bit 5.7, and Milwaukee 5.8. As the wood bits drilled through the wood, I kept track of the peak torque. The peak torque for the 2x4s was only 87 inch-pounds on average compared to 120 inch-pounds for the oak. 
To test the durability of the wood bits, I'll drill through some half inch particle board 100 times per bit. Then we'll see how they perform once again drilling through the 2x4. Fortunately, the drill press, the shop vac, and the drill bits all survived drilling 1,200 holes. So let's see if it's had any impact on the bits beginning with the Comaware brand. There's definitely some visible wear on the Comaware bit. And the Comaware brand averaged 36 seconds before drilling 100 holes. And the Comaware brand is a little bit slower at 43 seconds. And the Dewalt looks nearly as sharp as new. And the Dewalt averaged 7.8 seconds drilling through the three 4x4s and it needed right at 7.8 seconds this time as well. So very good job by the Dewalt. The Diablo looks just as sharp as new. And the Diablo averaged 7.6 seconds before and it's nearly as fast this time at 8 seconds. The spurs on the bow are showing a small amount of wear. And the bow averaged 7.9 seconds and it slowed down to 8.6 seconds after drilling 100 holes. There's definitely some visible wear with the Irwin. And the Irwin averaged 8.9 seconds and it slowed down by nearly 2 seconds to 10.5. And the Bosch looks as good as new. And the Bosch averaged 7.9 seconds before and it only slowed down slightly to 8.1 seconds. The Milwaukee still looks as good as new. And the Milwaukee averaged 9.9 .9 seconds and slowed down slightly to 10.4. The Bosch Nail Strike looks as sharp as new. The Bosch Nail Strike averaged 9.5 seconds before and it performed very well this time at 9.9 .9 seconds. The Hilti is only showing a very small amount of wear. And the Hilti averaged 8.1 seconds and performed nearly as good at 8.4 seconds this time. The Irwin Auger bit looks as sharp as new. And the Irwin Auger bit averaged 6.8 seconds before and it drilled the hole in right at 6.8 seconds this time. Very good job by the Irwin Auger bit. The Bosch Auger bit is still in great condition. It averaged 9.9 .9 seconds and performed nearly as good as new at 10.2. The Linux cell feed is definitely showing some wear. Unfortunately, the Linux blade kept becoming clogged with wood chips and stopped making progress. Before and after drilling 100 holes, the Irwin Auger bit is the fastest at 6.8 seconds, Dualda second at 7.8 seconds, Diablo 8, the Bosch Spade bit 8.1, and Hilti 8.4 seconds. Only one of the four brands is designed for cutting through nails. However, do some of the brands hold up better than others when they do experience a nail strike? I'll drive a six penny nail into the side of a 2x4 and then we'll find out beginning with the Comaware brand. And one of the spurs on the Comaware brand is bent from hitting the nail. And the Dewalt nearly removed the nail. The Dewalt held up fairly well, but there's definitely some damage to the blade. One of the two spurs on the Diablo experienced a small amount of damage. And there's quite a bit of damage with the bower. Both spurs are bent and have quite a bit of wear. And the spurs on the Irwin experienced quite a bit of damage. And the Bosch held up really well and looks as good as new. Unfortunately, the blade on the Milwaukee is broken. In fairness though, these blades are definitely not designed for coming into contact with nails. The Bosch Nail Strike is the first to drill through the board and it still looks as good as new. The Hilti held up really well and doesn't appear to have any damage. The Irwin Auger experienced a small amount of damage when it hit the nail. The Bosch Auger held up really well with only minor damage. The Linux looks pretty dull after coming into contact with the nail. Let's test the wood bits once again on the 2x4 and we'll see how they perform. And the damage to the Cumbleware bit really slowed it down from 43 seconds to 143 seconds. Before hitting the nail, the DeWalt drilled through the 2x4 in 7.8 seconds and it needed 13 seconds after hitting the nail. The Diablo Spade bit drilled through the 2x4 in 8 seconds before hitting the nail and it did just as well at only 8 seconds. Very impressive! The bar was at 8 seconds and the damage from the nail slowed it down quite a bit to 16 seconds. The Irwin was at 8.6 seconds but the damage caused by the nail slowed it down quite a bit to 18.6 seconds. 
The Bosch was at 8.1 seconds before and it remained at 8.1 seconds after hitting the nail. Very impressive. The Milwaukee was at 10.4 seconds but experienced quite a bit of damage from the nail strike and needed 139 seconds. The Bosch nail strike performed extremely well drilling through the 2x4 just as fast after the nail strike at 9.7 seconds. The Hilti handled the nail strike just as well as the Bosch drilling through the 4x4 just as fast after the nail strike at only 8.3 seconds. The Irwin Auger bit was actually slightly faster after the nail strike at 6.3 seconds. The Bosch Auger bit was just as fast as it was before the nail strike at 10 seconds. Just as before, the Lennox became clogged with wood chips and stopped making progress. So after the nail strike, the Irwin Auger came out on top at 6.3 seconds, Diablo 8, Bosch Spade Bit 8.1, and Hilti 8.3. If you're looking for a wood bit that does a great job in wood that doesn't have nails in it, I'm very impressed with the DeWalt as well as the Diablo. Both of those brands are very affordable and did a very good job. The Bosch Daredevil cost a little bit more, but it also performed extremely well. Now, if you're going to get into some wood that has nails in it, I'm very impressed with the Bosch Nail Strike. It held up really well. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.